The first year in high school is by far the scariest. Most don't know what to do for the rest of their life, few have life altering experiences, and the majority have confidence issues. So I'm gonna establish seven instrumental lessons I've learned coming out of high school to hopefully avoid some of life's greatest misconceptions and how not to pay for them later on. Number one is making a first impression, and you only have two chances to do so. First is by the way you look, and second is what comes out of your mouth. So when you're meeting maybe a mutual friend, someone you're interested in conducting business with, or even a girl you like, start by being well-groomed, dressed respectfully, and also smelling good. And even if you're not very common to girls, do the same because you want to stuff up the one day they come along. And second is what comes out of your mouth, and in order to sound as comprehensive as possible, you must control the pace of your speech and do so fluently with your words. How you express your dialogue publicly is a great indicator of your reputation and status in social settings. Because one's most powerful ability is to concisely communicate the thoughts in their head to others. Now number two is taking action and not motion. Motion makes us feel like we're making progress without running the risk of failure. When I first started this channel, I worried about my logo, my banner, my bio, when realistically, if I haven't made a video, no one's gonna to come to my channel. This is a great example of motion because by doing these small steps, we still feel like we're going towards our goal, but ultimately it gets us nowhere and majority of people just do these small, simple steps out of the fear from judgment of others. So instead, what can we do? Well, Hayden, just make a fucking video. People have this laziness, which so did I, and push back all these ideas, but really just need to take that first step and eliminate all these anxieties. Number three, which applies to a lot of people watching this video who are either in or coming just out of high school, and the quote is, if you have to forge a connection, let it go. I see people around me in high school who are in these big toxic groups of people with a lot of beef going around, they just talk shit behind each other's back. You probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And the general tell if you're in one of these groups is if they talk shit about other people in front of you, then as soon as you leave, they do the same thing but talk about you instead. But the great thing after leaving high school is that you can just cut them off. Ask your parents who I'm presuming are between the ages 45 and 60, how many of your high school friends do you still see regularly? And liking their Facebook photos does not count, I mean actually physically see them every couple months at a minimum. And they'll probably answer two or three at most. But the point here is, after school, if people aren't putting effort into spending time with you, just cut them off. If they aren't there for you starting your development journey, then they don't deserve you when you make it. Number four, doing something every single day isn't easy, but it gets easier every single day you do it. I've done at least 300 push-ups a day for about the last three months, plus boxing and other weight exercises. But focusing on the push-ups, it was fucking hard at first. I was doing 12 sets of 25 push-ups every single day, and by the end of it, it was absolutely killing me, my triceps would be killing me, my chest would be cramping up and feel like it's about to tear. But nowadays, it's getting easier and easier to do these sets. I don't need three minute breaks at a time, I don't need to sit on my phone just to waste time, I don't need to drink heaps of water just to put off doing them. I just simply do them. And that continuum improvement can be applied to anything, so you show up every day and complete those tasks in order to get to your goal. Number five, success is going from failure to failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. And it was Winston Churchill who said this, and it's a quote that really hits home for me because the ability to fail so many times and just showing up every day and keep grinding is a massive learning curve that every person must go through. And then by extension, as each failure passes, take upon this lesson onto the next venture. Because learning to failure is better than failing to learn. Mr. Beast broke this concept down that the person who can leverage failures from both yourself and others and understand how to navigate through in the triumph has demonstrated the fastest path to progression. And there's probably no one on the internet who's progressed faster and in more succession than Mr. Beast. Now number six is a bit of a deeper quote. Stand up and walk, keep moving forward. You've got two legs, so get up and use them. You're strong enough to walk your own path. This is me later to it, but the first thing I want to break down is to just get out there and start working. It may seem like a kick in the ass or I'm being a bit too harsh, but taking the first step sets you apart from 90% of people who are even afraid to get started. And the second layer is to learn bit by bit by content creators, business people, mathematicians, artists, anything you're aspiring towards in your field. I now had a belief shift where I started reading books as well as still enjoying my podcasts. And it's all well and good doing so in your own self-improvement journey, but make sure you walk your own path and don't be an impersonator of someone else. Create your own legacy and don't pretend to be someone you're not. Expand from the last point, number seven is to only take advice from people where you want to be. There's no use listening to that one friend who started every business under the sun like Amazon FBA or dropshipping and failed miserably. Which I know sounds counterintuitive to my previous points, but just hear me out. It's all well and good that two friends help each other, I'm not discrediting that, but I also listen to YouTubers and professionals in their space that have already gone on to achieve great things. Would you rather listen to Warren Buffett who's averaged 20% for the last 60 years, or that one friend who's averaged 25% in 2020 and 2021 when the market was soaring. Obviously Warren Buffett. So keep practicing some of the habits that I guess your mentors already use and potentially exceed them in the future. Almost like that shift where the student becomes the master. And here's a bonus one, have fun.
Your toys are short, so go explore the world, seek adventure, go build yourself up so the rest of your life can be much easier. Life is short and we're all a small blip in the context of the universe, so go make the most of it. If you follow me on Twitter, you'd know I'm in Europe at the moment, I'm currently in Venice, Italy, but yesterday my files got corrupted when I recorded this video in Croatia and I'm, oh, I was absolutely fuming. But I, like I was saying, follow me on socials, I've got Twitter, TikTok, that I post on every single day basically, and also Instagram. Like, subscribe, and head now.